All right. I'm re I'm re I may I'm putting up a lot of new YouTube videos up on YouTube, and they're all about Pokemon. But the 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 first one I did was talking about the Rayquaza EX I got that day. Then the second one that I just put up a few seconds ago was about Ancient Mew. Now this one is about fake Pokemon cards. As you can see, this definitely is not a real Pokemon card. But here's the thing, it kind of looks convincing, aside from the horrible cutting and whatnot. Here, I'll find you a better example. Like this. I made, I made my own cards and it's, it's a little easy to do. With, with some with a little bit of help I was able to make them but so it's is it's pretty easy all you have to do the first step is to go into the app store and buy pokemaker it's this free it's this freemium app and well to get the trainers in different types you have to buy them but once, if you if you if you feel if you're that confident in making your own Pokemon cards, knock yourself out. In other words, just whatever. If you don't feel like buying it, you could just make a fire type and be lame. Then, once you do that, like arrange everything. Like there's like there's gonna be like name, flavor, and stuff. And then you put everything in. Then once you do, then once you're done, here's the skilled part. You transfer it into Photoshop onto like your computer or something. A, de a device that has Photoshop. If you have Photoshop on your device, you're, you're good. And all you have to do is set it to the right size of a Pokemon card. I had some help, so I'm not exactly sure how to do it, but I. the point is, once you get it to the right size, all you need to do is print it out, whether you have your own printer or need to go somewhere, like a friend's house or something, to get it printed. I, I printed 12 unique cards. Now let's get to the Pokemon cards. Whenever you print them, they always come... Like with the yellow strip. All Pokemon cards have that yellow strip. This guy does a real card and the fake cards do. But on the bottom of the fake card, it says... Created with Pokemaker for iPad, iPhone, iPod. You clearly can't see it. I'm going to try to hold it still. It's kind of not working. Whatever. I, I just read it out loud for you, so... So it's always going to say that. And if, and, well, technically if you keep it in the Pokemon rules, kind of like no going over 300, it, the max amount of health can be like 250. At least that's how I do it. So, yeah, that. So, as long as you do that and make the a convincing Pokemon name and convincing Pokemon just in general, you might be able to fool people that you know the next Pokemon. And if you're and if you're lucky enough to to meet somebody who actually works at the Pokemon company, probably none of you that do watch that, well, you could ask them to make the card for you. But the simplest way is just like what I said. And so, also, difference. The fake cards always come out, like, triangular. Well, the real cards are always slant, slanted or curved. Let's see, see, Mewtwo's curved, Charmander's curved. Fossil Center is not. Though I decided to not curve it so I could show you. And that's what all I have to say. 
and goodbye.